Yo, what's up, nerds? I'm going to show you what you'll be able to make at the end of this video, which is just uh, shooting projectiles. So let's hit play. And then if you hold down left click uh, on your mouse, um, then you'll shoot uh, little bullets out of your gun. Um, also, you can change the firing speed of your gun, the uh, projectile speed, like how fast the bullet moves, and then... Um, the you know the distance that it uh, deletes itself. So right now it's set to like ten. Um, so you don't have you know bajillion bullets in the in the scene. So um, thank you for watching and uh, yeah. Yo, what's up everyone? It's Ajaxter and uh, let's begin. So um, I'm gonna start off by making a bullet. So I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be a sphere. Um, so let's uh, go here to the hierarchy create 3d object uh, sphere and then let's uh, reset the transform and then let's move it you know wherever um, this is gonna be a prefab so it's not going to be um, important where the position is right now because we're just gonna be setting it in code so I'm gonna change the X scale to 0.1 uh, the Y scale to 0 0.1 and then the Z scale to 0 0.1 so it's just a tiny little bullet and then we can name this uh, rename it to bullet and then just grab it in the hierarchy and then drag it to uh, you know your assets and it should create a prefab for it um, so let's also create a and then we can delete it in the scene so we don't need that um, on the gun, let's uh, let's create a firing point. So the firing point is where the bullet is going to be spawned, which is going to be you know at the end of the barrel of the gun, right? So um, let's create a firing point. It doesn't have to be anything. We just need the position. So let's create an, on the gun. Um, create empty. And then let's drag it forward to the uh, end of the barrel. <clears throat> and so now we have a firing point. Let's just rename it firing point. Alrighty, so that's about all we need to do with the uh, Unity editor. Um, let's start writing some code. So let's open up our player controller. And um, let's see. All right, so let's make a function called handle shoot input. And what this function does is it's just going to handle, um, you know, when we left click on the mouse. And so let's say if input dot get button parentheses um, quotes fire one. Um, so this means if we um, press or hold, or press and hold, um, press or hold, I guess you could say, um, the left click, then call or, you know, do whatever is inside this if function. So then we shoot. So let's, uh, let's say player gun, which we have not made this yet, um, instance dot shoot. All right, so let's make this class. <clears throat> um, let's go back into the Unity editor. Um, right click on the assets um, and then make a new C sharp script and let's call this player gun. Um, okay, so let's open up player gun. Reload solution. And so we have a new class called player gun. So um, instance means that it is the it is an instance of the object right so um, there's only one gun so we don't need to create a new class for player gun so let's just uh, let's do that right so let's uh, let's say um, this is how I did it uh, tran serialize field let's pass in the firing point transform of the firing point okay uh, serialize field we also need to pass in 
the projectile prefab. So our bullet, pretty much. And then let's do serialize field attack speed. So how fast does our gun fire? Or let's say let's call this a uh, firing speed because um, we could do whatever. <clears throat> okay, so now we need to go here and let's make a public void shoot. Because um, I think that's what we're calling in the player controller. Right, we're calling shoot. Um, so what we need to do is we need to first of all let's let's instantiate the uh, projectile prefab so instantiate projectile prefab and then let's uh, do our firing point dot position and then firing point dot rotation um, and so if we go back to our player controller, we'll see that we have this instance here and we haven't, you know, defined what instance is. So let's do that in player gun. And let's just say um, player gun or let's say public player gun instance. And then in our let's turn our start into awake. Let's say instance equals get component player gun so pretty much we're just we're referencing this class inside of itself <laughs> um, so yeah and so now we can uh, see that player gun dot instance oh, oh we need to make uh, player gun a static property so let's do that and now we can see that we can call player gun whenever we want to access our gun and the, or player gun dot instance will be you know our pistol that every time we call player gun dot inst instance that'll be um, a reference to our pistol and then we can call shoot so pretty much we're just saying pistol shoot and so if we go back and go to our gun and attach the player gun the player gun class onto it um, you'll see that we need some values so firing point let's uh, drag our firing point from the hierarchy into that uh, position we just need the transform and then let's um, the projectile feed uh, prefab let's drag the bullet and we don't really need to set firing speed because we're not doing with uh, anything with it yet so let's uh, not worry about that right now and then let's hit play and so um, oh right right we always do this um, in the player controller whoops let's uh, we didn't call handle shoot input so on the update in the update function of player controller type handle shoot input and then that should work. Let's hit play again. And every time you uh, left click and or hold down, you'll spawn a bunch of bullets. Um, so yeah, now that that that's working. That's working well. Okay. Um, let's go back to player gun. And then let's <coughs> apply this firing speed, so that we don't spawn a bunch of those you know bullets. Um, really quickly so let's get rid of this update function first and then let's um, let me put uh, or let's make a new value called last time shot it's just gonna be a float and let's set it to zero for, for now um, and then we can just say if last time shot is um let's see is a plus firing speed um is less than time dot time then then we instantiate the uh the bullet 
um, let me just make sure that's or let's say less than or equal to yeah so that should that should fire so let's set the uh, firing speed I want to do it uh, every point two seconds um, let's hit play um, so that does not work um, oh because we need to uh, we need to set last time shot every time we actually instantiate the uh, bullet so let's uh, set it here last time shot equals time dot time and now it should be firing to what we set the firing speed at so that's gonna be po every 0.2 seconds let's hit play and so if you hold down um, the bullets will be you know being instantiated every 0.2 seconds all right cool so um, how about we make these uh, bullets move so let's uh, go back into Visual Studio. Um, well, actually, let's go stay in the Unity editor. Uh, let's create a new class called Projectile. Projectile. And so what Projectile is, uh, the responsibility of Projectile is to, once the player gun instantiates the bullet, the projectile is attached to the actual bullet and handles its physics. So it handles the movement, and you know eventually in the next video it'll handle collision, and um, yeah. So that's pretty much what it does. Um, so let's uh, open it up, and we can get rid of these comments. So the values that we need here are the firing point and it's just going to be a vector 3 um, is my is my editor doing that thing okay so sometimes we get this miscellaneous files um, instead of this assembly that C sharp so what I what I do is I just close out Visual Studio and then open up the uh, class from the unity editor again and then Visual Studio eventually gets it and then everything works again just a you know quick tip if that ever happens to you um, so let's move on uh, firing point um, and then let's have a serialized field which means that we can edit this value in the editor and let's do projectile speed okay so the projectile speed will be how fast this movement or this this bullet moves so let's uh, let's say start so um, we need to when this class is called which which is when the bullet is instantiated you know the the projectile feed the the projectile prefab is instantiated in player gun that means um, when when start is hit that is the firing point so let's say firing point equals um, transform dot position so now we have the firing point right um, on the projectile class um, and then let's move this bullet so let's say void um, move projectile and then we can just say if um, well let's actually just let's let's move the bullet and then I'll show you guys um, something more so transform dot translate um, firing point m multiplied our firing or vector three dot forward multiplied by uh, projectile speed multiplied by time dot delta time okay so <clears throat> let's uh, call move projectile in the update function and then let's go back to the editor and go to um, a bullet, the bullet prefab, and then just drag the projectile class that we just created onto the prefab. And then let's set the projectile speed to something like uh, 10. Uh, let's hit start. 
Alright, so let's fire. Okay, so everything is moving. Um, and it's looking great. Um, so now let's, uh, let's, okay, yeah, let me, let me, uh, show you what we're about to do next and why we do it. So if I'm firing for a little, you know, for a, a while, I guess, or for any amount, the projectiles never actually leave the scene that you spawn. So you could just hold down, you know, the mouse for, for hours and you'd have hundreds, maybe that probably you'd have thousands of uh, bullets in the scene and your game would get really slow right so after a certain distance we just delete the game object so let's uh, let's say if vector 3 dot distance um, this is in your move projectile uh, function in the projectile class um, if the vector 3 dot distance from the firing point to the now position of the projectile is is uh, greater than let's uh, let's say um, max distance projectile distance projectile distance um, and then we can make that max projectile distance we haven't made yet so we have to do that serialize field private float max projectile distance then we destroy um, this dot game object else we uh, you know move the move the uh, projectile and so what this is saying is if the distance from the original firing point to the now position is greater than the max projectile distance which we'll set in the editor then destroy it you know get rid of the game object from the scene and if it's not if uh, the distance is less than the magic or max projectile distance then uh, move the you know move the projectile so let's see if that worked and let's fire some um, okay, so we didn't actually set the uh, max projectile distance, so let's set it to something like 15 or something. And then you'll see after, you know, 15, um, after a distance of 15, these bullets will start leaving the scene. And you can, you know, mess around with these, uh, these values. And so, you know, max... Um, you know, bullets in the scene will be, you know, a, a small number. It'll never go over a certain, you know, amount of bullets in the scene. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, that is it for this tutorial. Um, next video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to add um, collision onto these projectiles so we can start, you know, breaking these little cubes um, and um, giving the cubes health so that uh you know and we can act like those are other players you know what i mean um so you have to aim at them and shoot them and then they will get destroyed after a certain amount of health but anyways thank you for watching um hope you guys enjoyed